El Paso County should have 153 highway department workers who can drive snow plows and do a variety of maintenance jobs. But for the past year, the county has had trouble filling 30 vacant positions. We're asking why. One of the biggest issues that we have is that a requirement that we have to work in highway is to have a Class B CDL, and that seems to be the sticking point. That CDL is a commercial driver's license. The highway department says it hears from many people who want to work there but can't or don't take the time to sign up for a two-week certification class. And there's also the expense, around $2,000 or more. There's an upfront cost. And right now with, with COVID and people being out of work, those different things, I mean, it's, it's a financial strain on folks to get that money up front to go to that school and get that Class B license. The highway department says what's surprising is that even a good starting salary and a great benefits package hasn't been enough to motivate potential employees. The El Paso County Highway Department says this situation is not unique to El Paso County, that in fact, many counties across the country are in the same situation. And all they can do is hope that somehow, at some point, the trend will reverse itself. The highway department says that being down 30 employees isn't negatively impacting snow removal. But the situation makes it nearly impossible for any worker to take time off when there's snow in the forecast. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.